Hi students, we are back today practicing another vocabulary set. Um, last week we practiced with the set of through, thought, though, thorough, um, taught, and tough. And if you're interested on reviewing that set, jump back to, I think it's pronunciation video number five. Um, this video, we're going to look at another difficult set of words. Uh, let me jump over here and I'll introduce you to the set. Remember what we're looking at are these almost identical sets of words where the spelling and the pronunciation is very close, making them very difficult for us. These are the eight words we're going to be looking at today. Um, the four on the top are the present tense, the infinitive of the verb, and the four below are the past tense of the verb. So a really quick run through of these words, we are looking at feel, which becomes felt, fall, which becomes fell, fill, becoming filled, and file, becoming filed. First, we're going to go through our pronunciation. And remember, with the pronunciation, we're really focusing on the shape of the mouth. So I'm going to jump back and forth between um, the video of my mouth so you can see the shape that I'm making. And using a mirror or using your phone as a mirror, you can hold up your phone here to imitate the shape and watch your own lips. Um, and then we're going to jump over to the, the spelling and the meaning. Okay. Our first word of feel, eel, eel. Your cheeks should be very tight. Feel, eel, eel, feel. When we change from feel, feel, and we change over to felt, elt. Feel, eel, eel, eel is very tight. Feel, felt. Feel, felt, elt. We jump to our word of fall. Fall has a very tall mouth. And fell, fell is identical to felt, just without the T. My difference between fall, all, fall should have a tall, skinny mouth. Fall and fell. Fell is a loose, closed mouth. Fell, felt. Make sure to emphasize the T because I fell yesterday, I felt yesterday has very different meanings, even though the sound is so similar. Feel, felt, fall, fell, L. When we come to fill, fill, and filled, filled. Again, my mouth is short, but instead of L, fell, fell, which is a little bit wider. Fell, fill is a little bit narrow. I fell, I felt, I fill, fill. I filled, I filled my paper. A last word here of file, aisle. Your mouth gets very tall. File, filed. File, file, filed. Feel, felt, fall, all, fell, fell, fill, fill, filled. File, file. Almost like your mouth goes tall for file and then wide. File, file, filed. Okay. Now that your mouth has gotten its workout with pronunciation, let's jump over to our meaning. Feel and felt, this is my word for emotion, or for touching something. I felt the uh, wall. I felt the water. Um, I feel happy. I felt happy. I feel the forehead of my daughter. I felt the forehead of my daughter. Fall in the past, fell, move down without control. 
fill in the past, filled, put something into a space. Often we hear fill a bottle, fill a cup, um, and also fill a document. File, and in the past, filed, submit a document. Put a document in order. Um, a further definition here, a further explanation. Feel and felt, having this emotion, or touching something. Um, how did you feel last week? How were you feeling? I felt slightly sick. I think they felt okay. Um, I felt her forehead. I felt her forehead. I felt her skin. She was very cold. I felt her skin. My word of fall and fell. Moving down without control. I fall on the ice every year. When did you fall? I fell when I was walking down the stairs. Again, thinking about the shape of your mouth. Fell, 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 felt. Feel, feel, really tight. Feel, fall, all. Feel, felt, fall, fell. Let me jump back here. Our next set to think about is fill and filled. Put something into a space. Um, we also have the word full. Full, which is the adjective form. Fill, my verb. Adjective form of full. Uh, my sentence here, the rain fills the pond until the pond is full. Full, full, full. She filled her water at the sink. And then, of course, we have our word of refill. Fill again. Refill. Um, she refilled her water bottle. At a restaurant, they might ask you if you would like a refill. Would you like a refill? I refilled the bottle. File, file, aisle. Remember, my mouth is really big. File. Submit a document or put a document in order. What's the last day to file your taxes? This is a question on the citizenship exam. What's the last day to file your taxes? She filed her taxes online. Um, I filed my documents. After we finished the studies, after we finished the examination, I filed the documents into my folder. Um, I love, I love giving you these difficult sentences where we try to mix all of these words together so that you can see the definition in context. Um, remember that you should be adding some sentences below the video, commenting some sentences to practice them in context. I felt like I was going to fall, but I didn't feel worried. I fell over my feet when I was trying to fill my cup. Finally, I filled my cup, but realized I forgot to file my taxes. Again, thinking about this pronunciation, feel, feel, felt, feel, felt, fall, fell, fall, fell, fill, filled, full, the box is full, file, filed. Okay, as always, any questions that you have, put them down below as a comment. Any sets of words that are extra difficult for you that you would like to practice more, um, leave me some sentences in the comments below. Leave me some sentences in the comments below, and I'll let you know if you are using the word correctly in that context or not. Take care. Have a good one, students. See you later. See you soon.